Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Wave Period Oscillator. Before we do, though, I wanted to put the indicator scoreboard up for everyone to see. So, to date, we have tested 245 indicators. And out of those 245 indicators, 94 of them have been winners. Which means that they have met or ex exceeded the 60% win-loss ratio threshold that we have set for them. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. But as we are working on building the best trading system possible, you could take any one of those 94 indicators and get out there and start potentially profitably trading the markets with them now. So go back and watch those videos, make a list of those indicators, and get out there and see what you can do with them. But stick with us here as we work on maximizing your trading profits. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the wave period oscillator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. And as a team, we will all profit from it when we are done. You can find a link to the first video down below in the description, and you should also see it pop up in the top corner right now. There is also a link down below to sign up for trading view. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Discord is a free group communication platform where we are having great discussions about all things to do with trading. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, the wave period oscillator, you can see it here on the bottom of the screen. Um, it is a, kind of a combination of a few different style indicators, if you will. It is a zero line indicator, and then it also has oversold and overbought areas, very similar to how the RSI has oversold and overbought areas. Now, what's interesting enough is that the creator of the indicator said that when the wave trend line is above the zero line, that is when uh, bullish signals are generated. And in reverse, when the wave period line is below the zero line, that is when it generates the bearish signals. And so um, the creator of the indicator did link to a PDF, but um, I'm having trouble actually getting to uh, getting the PDF, you know, location and getting it to open. So that way I can get more information on exactly how this was intended to be traded. So I'm kind of flying in the dark at the moment and I will do my best to uh, hunt down exactly how it's supposed to be traded. And so you may see this one pop up in the future if, uh, if it's determined that it could be traded a little bit different way. So uh, currently how we are going to work this out is um, what is interesting is you see the zero line, then you see this green line right here before it gets into the 
overbought, oversold area, and the same on the bottom side. And so what that tells me is that this green line signifies something. And in my opinion, that would be a, uh, uh, a signal to uh, buy or to go long. And so what I think is happening is that uh, when the wave period line is above the zero line, that means that we are, uh, again, looking for the bullish signal. So we are looking for an overall uptrend or uh, moves or signals to the upside. And I believe those signals are given once the wave period crosses above this green dotted line and in reverse when the wave trend is down at the bottom and it crosses below the red dotted line i believe that is a signal to then go short now of course there's divergence and other things that we could play with uh, but in my opinion i believe that is how this was intended to be used and so again i could be wrong don't beat me up too bad in the comments if you think otherwise. Uh, throw some suggestions out there and uh, like I said, we can test this in other ways if we come to that. But for now, let's go ahead and test it this way and see what we can get out of it. All right, it's moving along. And so we pick up the first cross to the upside right here on this candle there. And unfortunately, that one did not get us to take profit, at least not yet. Let's go ahead and play it out a little bit more. Nope, doesn't look like it's going to get us there. So we'll go ahead and continue forward here. And so it's coming up and getting real close to crossing up above, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it did cross technically right there on that one as well which also did not work out for us let's go ahead and continue to play it forward so it's just kind of moving along here chopping in between the two dotted lines not really giving us any kind of certain there we go we finally pick up a move to the upside right there and that one works out for us rather well. Gets us to take profit pretty nicely. And then we run into the, uh, the overbought area. And it then, uh, well, I guess it doesn't drop. The, the wave period drops, but price hasn't yet. It is appearing to be uh, creating some divergence happening there. Now... We did get another cross to the upside right here on this one. Doesn't. Haven't got stopped out. We haven't got to take profit either. Let's go ahead and play this forward a little bit. See what it does. Yeah, we eventually get to take profit on that one. It takes a little while, but it eventually got us there. All right, let's look over here on this side. So we are crossing down below right here on this one. That one gets us to profit um, pretty easily there. Let's see, measure this out because we have to be mindful of when it's giving us other signals. Looks like we pick up another signal right there, which also gets us to profit let's play this out some more we'll say it does you know it it appears to be filtering out a lot of kind of the the you know smaller moves in the market but at a certain point you have to ask yourself how many moves is it filtering out these moves are completely valid moves that we could have definitely taken some positions on and you know gotten some gotten some winning trades out of it so get a short to the downside there getting us to take profit and looks like we pick up one more signal to the upside right there 
and that one gets us to take profit as well all right so there we have it that is the wave period oscillator uh, let's go ahead and add these up and see what we get out of it so one two three whoops try that again one two three four five six seven and eight so we have eight signals all together and we have one two three four five and six winning trades so that definitely gets us to the 60 percent criteria uh, but again we have to you know we have to ask ourselves how much how many moves are we giving up here you know to let this to let this indicator kind of do you know do its thing so but for now it's going on the yes list and we'll move on to the next indicator from here if you have not already like this video share this video comment below and subscribe to the channel also turn on the bell notification so that way you are notified anytime i post a new video so that way you know what indicators we have tested and are testing also there is a link down below to join our discord server which is a free group communication platform where we discuss all things trading related there is also a link down below to trading view and if you use that link to trading view to sign up for an account you will save a little bit of money and lastly there is a link down below to sign up for patreon please sign up for the patreon and support the channel the best way you can